Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use data volumes in Azure Container Instances. By default, Azure Container Instances are stateless. If the container crashes or stops, all of its state is lost. To persist state beyond the lifetime of the container, we must mount a volume for an external store. Here we'll mount an Azure file share to an Azure Container Instance so we can store data and access it later. So we all, I already have is your file share created on the portal. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So if I have to show you the file share, I have this storage account. And I would use this file share. Test Asser FS. Okay. So I have the storage account name, I have the storage name and I have the storage account access key as well. So I will deploy a container and mount the file share on it. So I'm going to do AZ container create. This is the resource group, the name, image, the location would be East US port 80, IP address public. This is the name of my storage account. This is the key. This is the file share. And this is the place from which you will have to mount the file share. Enter on the file share of the container. Let me check the file share name. Maybe I did it in caps. That is why. Okay, now it is running. Let me pause the video and come back. And now, if we will do this easy storage file list dash s ECI share demo and I do table so okay No, this file okay. So, this file is not there. Let me do this. This is done. So, let me cancel this, refresh this. This is the container that I created for this lab. Let me do the IP address. Do this. I'm going to type in something. I'm going to type in this. I'll do submit. Now, what I'll do is, now if that submitted is, now I will go to my file share on the storage account this is my file share you see this file right you click on it and you download this file okay I click on open file see a sort of cloud share so this is the file that got created when I uh, entered submitted the text here so in here when I was doing cats dogs voting the app this container did not have volume attached to store my data persistent data so when I do reset I I didn't have anything 
to go and look back okay these were the records that i entered this container that i created i had the persistent volume on the azure file share as mounted onto this container so now when i type in let's say azure cloud share again i submit this this has been submitted i go here i cancel this i hit refresh i see another file right i click on it i download it i click on open file azure cloud share. so i have the persistent data now right i hope you liked this video if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day